Hi, this is Jamie from the Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to talk to you about portals inside of RevNote. RevNote's an awesome application, and one of the key differentiating factors or features of RevNote is the ability uh, to implement portals. Portals allow you to embed pieces, or actually all of the contents of a page inside another page without duplicating it. It sounds like a complicated concept, but I'm going to show you how it works and sort of the value of it. So before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button. It does help my channel out. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I release two videos, please click the bell. Thanks. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, I have RevNote open in my browser here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a page that I have here that I created called Web Development. So I click on it. I have two pieces of information here. I'm going to open up this front end web development page. And as you can see, I have three links here, a reference. It's a very simple page. So one of the things you can do is so let's say I wanted to add content from a REM, add a portal here. So all I have to do is click in here and then come down here where it says add a portal to an existing route. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to start typing my search. So let's say I want to add rocket trivia to this for some reason. So I can do that, click on it. And as you can see, this little blue box here indicates this is a portal. So I can expand it and see everything that's in here. And as you can see, this is a very basic rem. OK, so let's say I wanted to add something here. So what I could do is just type in some data like this is something new and click off of it. And I can close this back. And one of the cool things now is that not only is that data here, right? So I can come over here, open this up and see it here. But if I go to documents, I scroll down here to Wonka Trivia. You can see that that is now here. So that's pretty cool. So what I can actually do is embed this information inside another document without, and I can update it wherever that RAM appears. So it'll automatically update the domain one to show you another example. And let's say I go back to my web development page and I go into this other page I have, how to help when you're stuck. And I come in here and I do the same thing, right? I come down to add a portal and I come in here and I type in Wonka Trivia. And I open this up. And let's say here's another item. So now back to documents, I can go back to Wonka Trivia. Here's another item. And I could go back to this front end web development page Here's another item. It didn't update right away. It took a second, but you can see it updated. Here's another item. So it updates wherever that REM appears. It's automatically updated. So that, the, the cool thing about a portal is I can embed this information. One of the really cool things about portals is that you can create a REM that where it's not actually a document. It's sort of just a concept. This sounds really sort of touchy-feely, but let's say you had a piece of information that you wanted to create where you don't need a whole document for it. You don't want to see it as a document, but you want to be able to refer to it in various documents that you do create. So one of the things you can do besides referencing an existing RAM is actually create a new RAM that doesn't exist in any document. This is more for things that are, you want to be able to reference, but they don't necessarily need their own document. You don't want to show it up in your documents, but it's a piece of information that you might refer to multiple times in various documents. And you want to have that be available to you without having to create a, a, a separate document for it or have to see it in your documents panel. So let's say I wanted to create one for headings. So what I can do is I can come down here. I, I can do this from any page. Come down here to the Add a Portal. And let's say I want to type in headings. I can create that rem by clicking on it. Headings. Come down here, tab in, and just type in there are six heading levels in HTML. And I can 
can do is line through H6 as an example. And then I can just close this up. Now, I could go to this HTML page here, click on that. I could come down here and reference that for just clicking over here at a portal, type in headings. I clicked off of it by accident. Headings. Click on that. I can reference that piece here. Come down here, open it up all the way. And let's say I want to add something else. H1 is the biggest heading. Close that up. And now that exists on this page. I could go back, for example. Let's, let's go to a different page, actually. Let's go to let's go to my Wayne Web Development page. Come down here, and let's say I wanted to reference it again. Headings. I can see it down here at the bottom. And then I can unfold it and then unfold it again. You can see that's there. I can make another edit and say H6 is the smallest heading. And close that all up. Notice that a couple things. Number one, that headings rem does not show up in my documents. That's because it's a concept that I didn't want to have a dedicated document to, but someplace where I can add it into existing documents where it makes sense. Like in web development, I might be referring to headings and just want to put that in there and then capture some notes or just keep the existing notes in that document without it actually having to be its own document, if that makes sense. So I can have multiple development documents all over the place in my REM note, and all of them can reference that headings REM, but that headings REM doesn't have to be a document by itself. And the great thing about that is it updates itself automatically. So I guess I can come back in here and just see that all those updates are made everywhere I go. And it's a really um, cool concept because it allows you to sort of really, for things that you want to be documents, things that are dedicated pieces of work that are standalone pieces, you typically will make them as documents. But things that are more conceptual or basic that you want to have a reference to, that you can add to, just drop that into any document you create, you know, sort of a top level REM like this that you could build. That's what we call a top level REM because this means it doesn't have a it doesn't have a hierarchy. It exists in and of itself. It's like a root level REM. And that allows you to the nice thing about that is because it's not buried in some hierarchy, you can reuse it over and over again. And it's not, you know, it's just a it's a concept that you can just add into any document that you're using. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you are getting started with RemNote, and if the whole idea of portals and the whole idea of RemNote in general seems a little confusing to you, you're just getting started, check out my beginner's guide to RemNote. I'm going to link it up above. It takes you from knowing absolutely nothing about RemNote all the way through to being able to be functional and actually set up a nice learning environment for yourself inside of RemNote. If you like this video, please click the like button. It does help my channel out. If you want to see more of my videos, whether it's on RemNote, Notion, or any other app, please hit the subscribe button. That's all I do on this channel is tutorials on various productivity apps. And if you want to be notified when we release a new video, please click the bell. Thanks.